For these questions, we're going to name each geometric figure. A geometric figure is just any set of points in space. So to understand that, we're going to start by learning what a point is. So the first geometric figure is a point. A point is exactly what it sounds like, just one little point. A point doesn't do much on its own, but if you take a point and you add onto it all together and you just keep adding points on and on and on and on, you will begin creating a line. A line isn't exactly what you may think because a line goes on forever and ever. It never stops. So when you see a line on the top of your paper, something you're actually not seeing, a real line, because a real line never stops. Since a line never ends, we have to show in some kind of way that it's a line because we can't keep drawing forever. So what we do is put an arrow at the end of each side to show that it's a line. The arrows indicate that it, we really mean that it goes on and on forever. A ray is also made of points and it's similar to a line because a ray is made of a bunch of points that are connected all in a straight way. But what makes a ray different than a line is a ray has an end point. It has an actual starting or stopping point, whereas the other end of the ray goes on forever. So you can draw a ray that way, or you can draw a ray going on forever that way and having an end point over here, but all rays have exactly one end point and the other side goes on and on forever. Well, another geometric figure is a line segment. And a line segment is exactly what we think of when we usually hear the word line, because a line segment has an actual start and stop. The start and stop is sometimes shown with a little end circle, but not always. If you didn't see the little circles, you would still know that it's a line segment. So what makes a line segment a line segment is that it has a starting point and it has an ending point. And the last thing we wanna talk about is an angle. An angle is when two different geometric figures come together. You can have two rays or two line segments or one of each. But if you put those together and let them share an end point, such as this ray sharing that end point with this ray, you've created an angle. You may have an angle made from a line segment and it's going to share an end point with a ray. That's an angle. So these geometric figures may not seem like much, but these are the basic building blocks of every piece of geometry that there is. In fact, these basic geometric figures make everything that you see. So now let's do some examples together. If you look at number one, you see a line, but you also see that it doesn't go on forever in either way. So it's a line segment. On number two, we have a line, but the arrows show that it's going forever in both directions, and that makes it a line. Number three, even though this figure is turned a different way, it's still straight and it still has the arrows showing that it goes forever in that direction. So number three is also a line. Number four looks similar, but it only goes forever in one direction, and then it has an end point for the other side. So that makes it a ray. Number five, again, it has two end points. So this would be a line segment. Number six, well, that's just a point. And number seven, I can see where two different figures came together and they're sharing that end point. So that makes it an angle. All right, you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.